This illustrates how Polka works. The shop floor example has been set up for four departments that each have one or multiple cells or work centers. The order flow for this example goes from P1 to F2 to A4 and finishes in S1. The cells are paired with downstream cells by loops. For each loop or pair of cells, we have Polka cards available. The Polka cards represent a product independent capacity signal that indicates availability of capacity at the downstream cell. Dependent on the product and the quantity, one or multiple cards are assigned to a production order. Now the order can be taken in production. If the material and the downstream Polka cards are available, we can launch the job. The downstream jobs will be shown in the cell input buffers. When the job in cell P1 is finished, the resulting product is moved to cell F2 together with the Polka card. When the material and the Polka card are available, the job can be started in cell F2 and both Polka cards are now attached to the job. Once the job in cell F2 is finished, the P1 F2 Polka card will loop back to cell P1. The returning Polka card indicates availability of capacity at cell F2. This process will be repeated for the next cells until the order is completed and all Polka cards have been looped back.